guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I have some very special products to be trying out for you today. I have in front of me a couple of items from the MAC Limited Edition Holiday Snowball Collection. Now, when I saw this collection launched and I set my eyes on the beautiful packaging, I was pretty much sold. I was like, I need to try out at least a couple of these items. I literally just picked this up from Macy's about an hour ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a look for you with the items that I picked up. And then I wanna kinda see how they wear throughout the day. After I'm done filming this, I am actually headed downtown to the Fall Out Boy concert. Anyway, nonetheless, we are here for the makeup. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. What I picked up, you guys, was a highlighter and then I also picked up one of the eyeshadow palettes. So I figured that these were the two most exciting things to me. Now, they have a ton of limited edition lip colors, glosses, some kits that you can purchase and whatnot. So that is what I picked up because these are pretty much my two favorite things. And MAC makeup is expensive. First things I want to talk about obviously is the eyeshadow palette. This is the packaging that it comes in. How adorable is this? It's like this clear unicarton and then you pull out the shiny palette. Now they had two different palettes to choose from. They had one that was gold and then they had rose gold. I chose the rose gold shades. So here's what it looks like. Let me do another close up of this. Seriously though, they really, really hit it out of the park with the packaging. You open it up, you got the little plastic protector inside, and then you get a mirror right here, and it's actually a pretty, it's a pretty good mirror. Not too bad. It comes with a shadow brush, and then you've got the, let's see how many shades are in here, the six shades. This retails for $29.50, and those are the colors that you get. Um, I don't really see any shade names on here. Okay, so there's Winterlude, No Curfew, Budding Passion, Drama in the Snow, She Sparkles, and Shiver of Delight. I don't know which color is which, so I'm sorry about that, you guys. Let's go ahead and swatch a couple here. Let's just start with the lightest shade and go all the way over and that way we can kind of get an idea of how these look. Ooh, that is gorgeous. So that's like a shimmery satin shade. Next one is a matte shade, kind of like a cool tone brown. This will be perfect for an all over transition shade. That's what I like about this palette is despite that there's only six shades in it, they gave you enough to work with. Now into this silver shade. This is what I'm most excited for. Woo! She is reflective. Loving that one. All right, and then to the star of the show, which is this rose gold shade here. So the silver and this rose gold, they're very metallic, very shimmery. Absolutely stunning. And then into this satin kind of dark burgundy brownish shade here. Absolutely beautiful. I am pretty impressed so far with the swatches. And then we have this dark matte brown shade. So I do think that there is enough in here to create a full look. You really shouldn't have to dip into any other palettes. And then I will go ahead and swatch the highlighter once we get a look going here. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look at my mug and we can create a look with this palette. All right, so I think that you guys are close enough. First, I'm gonna start off with this shader brush here, this Lamora blending brush. And I'm gonna dip into this shade here put that all over my lid as my transition shade all right and already blending very nicely and despite the fact that it's a light color I'm still getting some color payoff from it perfect and then of course let's go ahead and dip into this shade here work that into the crease to create some depth and I'll use the same brush All right, and then I think I actually want to sweep that all over the lid as well. About the outer portion of the crease, I'm going to dip into this dark brown shade here just to create some depth. That's nice and pigmented. So far, I should note that I haven't had any issues blending so far.
This one I feel is a little bit patchy. I'm having some patchiness right here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can fill that in more by picking up a little bit more product. So that color skips a bit and it is a little bit on the patchy side. So that again is this darker brown shade here on the outside. It's a beautiful color, but I am having a little bit of trouble working with it and it's not blending as easy as the other two shades were. First, I'm actually gonna sweep this darker kind of maroony brown shade all over the lid as well. Dip into that. I wanna try to use as many of the colors as possible. I'm dipping into this shade next because I want this dark shade to kind of blend in so we get that ombre. I feel like this shade here, the one that I'm using right now, if you wanted to use this as the main shade, you definitely want to use some MAC, uh, some Fix Plus, or some sort of setting spray to kind of amplify it. But since I'm just using it as kind of a base to layer that rose gold shade on top of and to get things blended, it's fine without it. I am still getting some nice color from it, and I do enjoy that color a lot. That one is nice. This palette did come with a brush, and this one looks like it has a perfect brush to pack on this end here, to pack on these metallic shades. So I'll try the shade first on its own, and then if I need some Fix Plus to see what it's like when we amplify it, then we'll go ahead and dip into that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this rose gold shade here and swipe that on three quarters of the lid. Now this shade is obviously quite chunky. Obviously that doesn't surprise me because of the type of shade that it is. So be very careful. Normally I would use some glitter glue, but I'm not super worried about the fallout. So it is very pretty, but I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm not even gonna try anymore, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush with some Fix Plus. Aha, there we go. Glittery and metallic-y, I really enjoy it. It is very pretty, I do enjoy it, but I did expect something a little bit more out there, I guess, when I swatch it, and that's why I always say swatches are not always an indication of how a shadow is going to go on. I really didn't expect something a little bit more intense. And with that being said, last ditch effort, let's just go ahead and try to amplify this even more. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my finger and then pack that on the eye. One thing that's good is I'm not getting a ton of fallout. I do have a little bit, but not a lot. And that's really weird, you guys. Using my finger really didn't amp it up that much more. Allowed me to pack on more of the shade. Well, actually, yeah, it did. So that's where we're at. So let's go ahead and get something in the inner corners. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this silver shade here. Let's go ahead and get that place on the inner corners. That's really pretty. All right, and then let's get something going on the lower lash line. I'll use the other end of the brush that came in here. I'll start off by sweeping this darker shade on the outside here along the lower lash line. Hopefully we can have some better luck with it since again, that was the shade that was kind of patchy on my lids. Like the color payoff is awesome, but it is, it's just, you gotta work a little bit to blend it. All right, so overall, I mean, actually, I really actually like how this look turned out. Despite the patchiness of the darker shade, I do enjoy the other shades in the palette. These two shades here were super nice. With some Fix Plus, these do work quite nicely. I do think, again, that I thought this rose gold shade was really gonna give a little bit more of a punch, but nonetheless, I do still think it's beautiful. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this kind of satiny matte white shade here, and then I'm gonna use that to highlight under the brow bone, again, using this matte brush that came in it. Now I'm going to zoom you guys back out and then let's go ahead and dip into that highlighter. That is what I am most excited for is that highlighter. I got mine in the shade Here Comes Joy. This came in two different shades. I got mine in kind of the peachy rose gold shade. Here's what it looks like here. Look at this. This packaging is so freaking adorable. I am obsessed. Even if this sucks, the packaging is worth it. We got a mirror on the inside and here is what the shade looks like. Let's go ahead and give that a swatch. The reason why I picked this shade was because the gold one said it had shimmer in it and I was worried that that meant glitter and I'm not a huge fan of glitter in my highlights. So let's go ahead and swatch that here and see what she looks like. 
So that is a very pretty highlight. It looks a little bit subtle. So we are gonna try two different brushes. I'm gonna try my Morphe M510, which is what I use every time I highlight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try it with a fan brush as well, which is the Morphe M601. So on this side, let's go ahead and dip in with the M510. I love the shade. Oh my God. It is just, the shade is stunning. I love it. It's honestly not as blinding as I thought it would be, but I'm here for it. I'm gonna go in and just pick up a little bit more and build that up even more. I love the glow that this is giving because it's not too chunky and it's not so like silvery undertone where you're like, <gasps> that is an intense highlight, but it's just like a wintry glow. That's what it reminds me of. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and pick some up with the fan brush here. Let's go ahead and use this on the other side. Usually fan brushes don't pick up as much pigment, which I can tell with this. I'm not getting as much of a reflect or pigment with the fan brush as I am with the M510, but I am still getting some color payoff. But I definitely do prefer this highlight with the M510. So I'm gonna go back in with this one just to even things up and get that on the outside of here. See what I mean? way more. This highlight, the texture of this is actually kind of rough. It's not as buttery smooth as I was hoping for. Um, it just feels kind of stiff in the pan, but nonetheless, I am loving the way that it looks on the skin, the way that it's sitting on the skin. It's just fanning right out and it's an absolutely beautiful color. So let me go ahead and drag some down the nose. I love an intense nose highlight. I just think the shade is just so flattering that for light to medium skin tones, this is just stunning. I even think someone with a little bit of darker skin tone could pull this off too, definitely. I am obsessed. This might actually be my new favorite highlighter shade. All right, and my camera died. So I put on some mascara um, and some eyeliner on my waterline. So I will be back after the concert to check in with you guys, to let you know how all of this makeup wore. I will be right back. Hey guys, I just got back from the concert and it was amazing. I started doing makeup around five o'clock. It is now 11.18 where I am and the makeup actually held up pretty decent. So this eyeshadow, I mean, we're going to a concert, me jumping around, getting hot, getting sweaty. The eye makeup really did hold up. It, it held up pretty good. That dark shade was a little bit patchy, but the rest of the shades in the palette really were truly beautiful. I actually did fall in love um, with that gold shade that I was a little bit questioning. I was kind of hoping that it would be a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more metallic. It ended up working out. The more that it kind of melted into my skin when I set my face with some Fix Plus, it, it really kind of ended up looking very beautiful. So the palette for, I believe it was $29.95, you get six shades in there. It is a holiday limited edition. It's really not a bad deal. So the palette, I would definitely say if you're thinking about it, pick it up because it is a good deal. The highlight, that's still on my face too. In fact, I don't think I've ever really had a highlight last this long, especially through the elements like that. So overall, I would say out of the products that I tested, I really did end up loving them. The highlighter really is my favorite. Now, again, keep in mind, this is more on the subtle side. I kind of like that, you know? Sometimes it's nice to have a more subtle, uh, more of a natural glow from within than having that just super bright streak of highlight on the skin. Do I really think that it's worth $38, the price tag of this? Eh, I think it's up for debate. I think it really depends on, you know, what you prefer and what you really like. To me, with the packaging and the color payoff and the type of glow that this is, and I really don't have a highlighter like this in my collection, for me, it's definitely worth it. Oh, and before I go, let me show you guys the awesome shirt. I I picked up at the show. I saw this and I was like, that's fucking badass. I have to have that. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you are excited for this holiday 2017 limited edition MAC launch. What do you plan on picking up from it? Do you think it's worth it? I love you guys so much. And of course, before you go, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you next time and I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Bye.